In this lecture, I will give an introduction to organometallic reagents. So what exactly is an organometallic reagent? Well, an organic metallic reagent is simply put, a compound that contains a carbon-metal bond. And these organometallic reagents are used to produce carbon-carbon bonds or carbon-H bonds. In this lecture, we're only going to focus on the carbon-carbon bonds. So how exactly does one produce our organometallic reagent? Well, two things must be mixed, two compounds. A metal must be used, either magnesium or lithium, and an alkyl halide. Now this R group is simply your hydrocarbon group, and that means the carbon is attached to our X, which is simply a halogen. Now it's important for the X not to be fluorine, so the X can either be chlorine, bromine, or iodine. That's because fluorine is very electronegative and it binds very tightly. It creates very strong bonds with carbon atoms. So that means if we use fluorine, this reaction won't readily take place because this bond will not break. Now, when we combine these two reagents, these two compounds, in a solvent, the solvent must be ether. Ether stabilizes the product. Later, we'll see that if we use a polar solvent, such as water, the organometallic reagent will break. It will dissociate, and we'll see why later. So, when these two reagents are used, we produce the following two compounds. So, if magnesium is used, the following organometallic reagent is produced boxed in purple. And so we have the R group, the carbon Mg bond. So this is our carbon metal bond. And this Mg is also, also binds to our halogen. So we have the following organometallic reagent known as Grignard reagent. Now notice that the ether stabilizes our organometallic reagent. So these two ethers stabilize the, the following induced polar bonds, polar intermolecular bonds. Now, what happens when lithium is mixed instead of magnesium? When lithium is mixed, the following organometallic reagents produce known as organolithium reagent. And here we simply have our R group attached to our lithium. So we have the covalent bond here. Now notice in this case, the ether does not stabilize our organometallic reagent the same way that it, it stabilizes in the first case. So once again, when halides are combined with metals under cold conditions well, with ether as solvent, the metal begins to disappear. So this begins to disappear forming the organometallic reagent via an exothermic reaction. So this is an exothermic reaction. It releases energy. So let's examine our carbon metal bond. So what is a carbon metal bond? Well, carbon is found on the left side of the periodic table. The metals are found on the right side. That means we're going to have a relatively electronegative atom, the carbon, and a not so electronegative atom, the metal. And that means these two bonds will be very polar. In fact, we'll look, if we look at the resonance forms for these two organometallic reagents, we see the following happen. We see that one of the resonant forms is this, and a second one is a form that has two electrons on the R, so this R has a negative um, charge, and this magnesium, the metal, has a positive charge. Likewise, the same for this case. So once again, since the carbon is much more electronegative than the metal, it will pull the pair of electrons closely. This results in a highly polar reagent that acts as a strong Lewis, acid, Lewis base. So once again, because our carbon is so much more electronegative, it pulls those electrons more strongly than our metal does. And as a result, the electrons are found much closer to the carbon than to the metal atom. And this creates a strong Lewis base. Now, a very important product of this result. 
because organometallic reagents are strong bases, they must be protected from moisture. In other words, earlier I said that the solvent must be an ether, a nonpolar solvent. If we use a polar solvent, such as water, the water will react with our Lewis base, with our organometallic reagent in the, in the following manner. So this pair of electrons will take this H atom and will create this RH, so a hydrocarbon. And the lithium will combine with our hydroxide group. So important, important, important. Organometals in the presence of H2O will be destroyed. So it's important to protect our reactants from moisture, from polar compounds such as water. Now, so far we have discussed how this reaction takes place, but what is the mechanism? Well, the mechanism actually involves a radical transfer. In other words, one of the electron breaks off and goes onto the R, the second electron breaks off and goes onto the X, and one of the electrons from magnesium combines to form a bond. So we have a covalent bond between magnesium and the halogen, and the magnesium has a spare electron. It has one electron. And now this electron combines with this electron to form our final product, the organometallic reagent, in this case, the Grignard reagent.